is Elmer Rieberseidenhout. I'm a guide at the Drosday Museum in Swellendam. I would like to tell you a little bit about the building and the town. This is the oldest building in Swellendam. It was built in 1747 as a house for the Drost or like we say uh, Landros in Afrikaans or Magistrate in English. It was built also as the offices of the Magistrate and this building was built from unbaked clay bricks. At, 18, at uh, 1813 it was enlarged and 1847 sold, used as a private house, till 1939 when it became a museum. All the furniture that you see here was donated from people around Swellendam to the museum. The museum uh, has got a few buildings. We've got a few buildings here. This is the main building, the Dutch building, uh, built for the Dutch East Indian Company. And then on the, at the back, there's two more buildings. The one has got the slave exhibition about the slaves in South Africa. And then also the old vehicles before motor cars and the Anglo-Boer War. That is all in one building. And then on the other side of the street, we have the old prison, and that is the second oldest prison in South Africa, also built by the Dutch East Indian Company. The this is the third oldest magistrate district in South Africa, and the, magistrate, the district was quite big, from uh, the Cape right through to East London, to the Swartberg, the, ma the mountain range, and to the coast. So it was quite a big magistrate district. Uh, so the prison is on the other side of the street and also little houses with tools to make shoes, wagons, furniture, that type of thing. And then we've got a third building and that is uh, Mayville. That is where you find the English history. It's an old house furnished Victorian. standing in the courtroom and we've got some pictures here uh, from the Swellen Griebel family. The town was named after Hendrik Swellen Griebel and his wife Helena ten Damme. That is where the Swellen Dam comes from. And Hendrik was the first South African born governor. The courtroom was on Sundays used as a church from uh, Monday to Friday as a courtroom and Sundays as a church. As this town did not have any buildings, none so ever. There was no churches, no schools, no houses, no roads, nothing when the Dutch East Indian Company decided to come and build this building. In June 1795, the boer or the farmers of Swellendam decided to take over the courtroom because they uh, thought that the Dutch East Indian Company government in Cape Town was corrupt and they decided to call this a, rep a republic. Um, the president was Hermana Stein on the photo and they took it over for four months. For four months it was a republic 
And after that, the English took over and said, give us back our building. And the farmer said, we can talk about this. And we must just warn you that if you don't, if, you're, if there's any corruption, we will take it back again and be, make it a republic again. standing in the dining room of the Drosday Museum, I would like to tell you about the first Dutch people that came here in 1652. The reason why they came was so many people died on ships because of uh, lack of food, lack of fresh food, lack of fresh water. So the Dutch East Indian Company always went around the Cape by accident, accident landed in Cape Town with a boat that uh, got into trouble. And they decided then to make fruit trees, vegetable gardens, and trade with the Koi Koi for meat for the ships. So Jan van Riebeek was the governor that came. It was so difficult. They, they would farm on one place and see it doesn't work, the wind in Cape Town, and then farm at another place, and decided then 
1660 to go back to the Netherlands and got some Germans to come and help them farm to see if that will help. And then 1688 they went back to, to Holland and got some French people to come and uh, help farming, especially for the wine of course. They had to farm fruit, vegetables and already start whining. And that is where they, they landed in Franschhoek where they got a few farms to start farming.